Hello everyone, like I said last week, I'm going to be doing a video today on what card fight Vanguard does better than Yu-Gi-Oh! All of this is going to be based on my opinion on what I experienced with both games. So let's just get started. First, let's just get the obvious one out of the way, and this one's just my opinion. Artwork. In my opinion, I think the artwork for card fight Vanguard is way better than Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork. At least when it comes to monsters. Or units in card fight vanguard although the spells and traps look pretty good when it comes to design i mean take a look at the card fight artwork you could see its aura you could see background you can see the unit performing its attack it just looks awesome but for a Yu-Gi-Oh monster they're mostly just doing a regular pose there's not really too much background i mean some of them do have background but it's kind of very lackluster and also, in Card Fight Vanguard, you could still see the artwork through the text. And I just love it. With a very few exceptions, look at you, the end. Generally, Card Fight Vanguard artwork looks a lot better and it looks a lot more anime style. Quote unquote. The next one is distribution. And what I mean by this is that Bushiroad has the tendency to make sure that every product that they make in the Japanese side is released in the English side. They make sure of it, with very few exceptions, every product that they make will get released in the English side. And also as soon as possible. And unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, sometimes we don't even know when certain cards are going to be released, aka manga promos. I had to wait a year for DDD High King Executive Temjin and Purplish Armageddon. I'm still waiting for Arsenal Falcon, and Needle Fiber came out way too late and now it's out in dual overload. Yeah, that took way too long. In Card Fight Vanguard, they make sure to release everything as soon as possible. And not only that, they also announce the distribution in cases. Generally, five of each copy of each VR, two playsets of every single triple and double, and these are just the regular rarities. Yu-Gi-Oh! is all random. And not only that, if you're trying to buy a deck product, you could just buy one in Card 5 Vanguard because they give you four copies of your main cover card. Unlike in Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to buy like multiple copies of that one. So I think Card 5 Vanguard definitely wins when it comes to distributing. My next point, which I really wish Konami does a lot more, announcing and revealing products. I mean, this one is very simple when it comes to Bushy Road, considering that they have a stream every single week and they actually announce something. Ban list, for example, they actually announced when they're gonna release the new ban list. Unlike Konami just randomly dropping it, whether it's in a manga or just randomly posting it. I mean, they even tell you like their release plans as well in Card by Vanguard. And I think there are other games as well. In Konami's case, I have no idea when's the new product gonna be revealed or any of that. It's always just randomly revealed. Next would be the release schedule gap. Card 5 Vanguard immediately beats Yu-Gi-Oh in this. And why I would say that is because Card 5 Vanguard, every product that gets released in the Japanese side will later get released in the English side like about one and a half months later. But in Yu-Gi-Oh it's usually three months for main booster sets and two to three months when it comes to deck products. So by the time that the next booster set is released for the TCG side, the OCG side for Yu-Gi-Oh already got their next booster set. How is this even a thing? Why not just release it in a two month gap at least? And even with Bushiro delayed release schedule, they're still doing much better when it comes to the release gap than in Yu-Gi-Oh! And finally, I'm gonna say events and promotion. And what I mean by this is that it feels like Bushiro is trying to promote their game a lot more than Konami is. I mean, they have like so many events. I mean, Christ's sake, they have a caravan where they give you a free deck and teach you how to play. I have not seen Konami ever tried this before. Bushiro took a huge risk when it comes to this. They have huge events worldwide. And I haven't seen Konami with like huge events other than championship tournament. Not as much anyway. And not only that, the anime actually promotes the actual card game when it comes to Card Fight Vanguard. And what I mean by this is that they actually show all the effects accurately along with the fact that every card that is shown in the anime will be released as the actual card. 
WoW and Yu-Gi-Oh, they're, wow, there can be a lot of anime archetypes or made-up shit in it. There's just so many cards that are in the anime that are just not been released. Looking at you, Armatos, Legio, Drones, Sun Avalon, although Sun Avalon might actually get released soon, along with Drones. Which makes me think what the hell is going on with the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. So those are the few points I have about Car 5 Vanguard doing what better than Yu-Gi-Oh. I might have missed some, like the Yu-Gi-Oh one, but if there's any, you can just tell me if you want.